Lipids are a diverse group of molecules that are insoluble in water. Lipids mainly function as energy storage and membrane components. Lipids also perform other diverse functions that will be covered later in the video. The building blocks of many lipids are fatty acids, which are carboxylic acids with hydrocarbon chains that function in energy storage in most life forms. There are two main types of fatty acids. Saturated fatty acids have the maximum number of hydrogen atoms possible, and no double bonds. They are solid at room temperature since they stack well and have higher melting points. Most animal fats are saturated. On the other hand, unsaturated fatty acids have one or more double bonds, and form kinks when they stack together. As a result, their melting points are lower and they are usually liquid at room temperature. Most plant and fish oils are unsaturated. Note that most fatty acids alternate between acid form, which ends in ic acid, and the salt form, which ends in ate. For example, palmitic acid is the acid form, whereas palmitate is the deprotonated salt anion form. In this video, I'll mostly write them in their anion form since they're shorter. The most commonly occurring fatty acids have even numbers of carbon atoms. A 12-carbon saturated fatty acid is known as lauric acid, named after laurel oil that it is found in. Lauric acid is a component of coconut milk, coconut oil, and palm kernel oil. A 14-carbon saturated fatty acid is known as myristic acid, named after the binomial name for nutmeg, myristic fragrance. Besides nutmeg, myristic acid is also found in palm kernel oil, coconut oil, butter fat, bovine milk, and breast milk. A 16-carbon saturated fatty acid is known as palmitic acid, named after palm oils. Palmitic acid usually occurs as palmitate anion at physiological pH of 7.4. Palmitate is the most common saturated fatty acid that is present in butter, cheese, milk, and meat. A 18-carbon saturated fatty acid is known as stearic acid, which is the second most common saturated fatty acid that is abundant in animal fat. A 20-carbon saturated fatty acid is known as arachidic acid, which is found in corn oil, cocoa butter, and durians. Double bonds in unsaturated fatty acids usually occur three carbons apart. Unsaturated fatty acids are denoted with carbon number, followed by a colon sign, and a number of double bonds. There are two conventions in naming the double bonds of unsaturated fatty acids. The standard nomenclature assigns number one to the carboxyl carbon, and the position of double bonds is indicated by triangular theta sign followed by a superscript number indicating the double bond carbon. An alternative nomenclature assigns number 1 to the methyl carbon at the other end of the chain, which is also known as the omega carbon. The positions of the double bonds are indicated relative to the omega carbon. The monounsaturated 18-carbon fatty acid at the 9th carbon is known as oleic acid. The 18-carbon fatty acid with double bonds at 9th and 12th carbons is known as linoleic acid which can only be synthesized by plants and other microorganisms. Therefore, it is an essential fatty acid for animals. Linoleic acid is an omega-6 fatty acid that serves as a precursor to two families of polyunsaturated fatty acids, the omega-3 family and the omega-6 family. From linoleic acid, plants can synthesize an 18-carbon omega-3 unsaturated fatty acid known as alpha-linolenic acid which has double bonds at the 9th, 12th, and 15th carbons. Alpha-linolenic acid is another essential fatty acid for animals. Alpha-linolenic acid serves as an important precursor to other omega-3 fatty acids, including the 20-carbon EPA, which stands for icosapentanoic acid, as well as the 22-carbon DHA, which stands for the casahexanoic acid. The double bonds position can be deduced from the omega number, which indicates the last double bond from the omega carbon. Fish oils are especially rich in EPA and DHA. Linoleic acid also gives rise to the 18-carbon omega-6 unsaturated fatty acid known as gamma-linoleic acid, the 20-carbon omega-6 unsaturated fatty acid DGLA, or dihomo-gamma-linoleic acid, as well as the 20-carbon arachidonic acid that is present in many membrane lipids. Details about unsaturated fatty acids have been covered in one of my lipid metabolism videos. The double bonds of natural unsaturated fatty acids normally occur in cis conformation. However, unsaturated vegetable oils have a shorter shelf life. Therefore, oftentimes vegetable oils undergo hydrogenation, which converts unsaturated fats to saturated fats. The process of hydrogenation also creates unsaturated fats with trans double bonds, which may increase one's risk of getting cardiovascular disease. Another type of simple lipid is biological waxes which are esters of long-chain saturated and unsaturated fatty acids with long-chain alcohols. Waxes serve as metabolic fuel for marine microorganisms. 
Waxes also function as water repellent for animal skin, bird feathers, plant coat, and the material of honeycomb. The simplest lipids constructed from fatty acids are triisoglycerols, abbreviated as TAG, also referred to as triglycerides and fats. Triisoglycerols are composed of three fatty acids attached to a glycerol molecule through ester linkages, indicated in green. Vertebrates typically store triisoglycerols as fat droplets in adipocytes, or fat cells. Fats store more energy than sugars of similar masses, since fats are more reduced. In some animals, fats also serve as insulation against low temperatures. Recall that biological membranes are composed of lipid bilayers. All membrane lipids are amphipathic, with polar head groups and one or more hydrophobic tails. Their hydrophobic tails interact with each other and their hydrophilic heads interact with water to form the bilayer. There are two main types of membrane lipids based on their backbones. Glycerol lipids have glycerol backbone, whereas spinkle lipids have amino alcohol spinkosine as the backbone. Triisoglycerol mentioned earlier is a type of glycerol lipid that mainly functions as energy storage and insulation. Membrane glycerol lipids typically have two fatty acids attached to the first and second carbons of glycerol through ester linkages, and a highly polar or charged group attached to the third carbon through phosphate group. These membrane glycerol lipids are known as glycerol phospholipids or phosphoglycerides. Examples of glycerol phospholipids include phosphatidylethanolamine, abbreviated as PE, with the positively charged ethanolamine as the head group. Since the phosphate group has a negative one charge, the net charge of phosphatidylethanolamine is zero under physiological conditions. Phosphatidylcholine, abbreviated as PC, also has a positively charged head group choline, making the overall charge neutral. Phosphatidylserine, abbreviated as PS, has the neutral polar amino acid serine as its head group, making the overall charge negative 1. Phosphatidylglycerol, abbreviated as PG, has the neutral glycerol as its head group, making the overall charge negative 1 as well. Phosphatidylglycerol serves as the head group of cardiolipin, abbreviated as CL. Therefore, cardiolipin has two phosphate groups, making the overall charge negative 2. Lastly, phosphatidyl inositol 4 bisphosphate abbreviated as PIP2, has inositol 4 bisphosphate as the head group. Each phosphate esters have a charge of negative 1.5, making the overall charge negative 4. Phosphatidyl inositol 4 bisphosphate is crucial to both signal transduction pathways of protein kinases B and C, which I've covered in my video on signal transduction. In some glycerol phospholipids, one of the two acyl chains is attached to glycerol in ether linkage rather than ester linkage. Examples include plasmalogen, which is a neutral ether glycerol phospholipid with ethanolamine as its head group. Plasmalogen is especially abundant in the heart membrane. Platelet activating factor, abbreviated as PAF, is another neutral ether glycerol phospholipid with choline as its head group. Platelet activating factor is a potent molecular signal released from leukocytes called basophils, which stimulate platelet aggregation and the release of vasoconstriction serotonin from platelets. It plays a crucial role in inflammation and allergic response. Some archaea that live in extreme environment also have ether glycerol phospholipids in their membranes. Since ether linkages are much more stable to hydrolysis at low pH and high temperature than are the ester linkages. Note that both plasmalogen and platelet activating factors have one ester and one ether linkage, whereas all linkages in archaeal ether lipids are ether linkages. In one example, two branch fatty acid phytanols are each attached to a glycerol group at both ends. One glycerol is linked to a disaccharide, whereas the other is linked to a glycerol phosphate. Due to the disaccharide, this archaeal ether lipid can also be classified as glycolipid, meaning sugar-containing lipids. Glycerol lipids found in plant membranes are often associated with galactose residues rather than phosphate groups, since phosphate is often a limiting plant nutrient in soil. These glycerol lipids are known as glycerol glycolipids, or more specifically, galactolipids. Galactolipids are found in thylakoid membrane and make up 70 to 80 percent of total membrane lipids of a vascular plant. Examples of galactolipids include monogalactosyl diacylglycerol, abbreviated as MGDG, and digalactosyl diacylglycerol, abbreviated as DGDG. Another type of plant membrane glycerol glycolipids are sulfolipids, in which a sulfonated glucose residue is joined to a diacylglycerol in glycosidic linkage. The sulfonate group is negatively charged, similar to the phosphate group in glycerol phospholipids. All the glycerol lipids are written in orange. The second main type of membrane lipids are spingle lipids, which also have a polar head group with two nonpolar tails. One of the nonpolar tails is part of the spingosine backbone. The only type of phospholipid lipid is spingomyelin, which contains choline or ethanolamine as its polar head group and is neutral at physiological pH. 
As its name indicated, spangle myelin is especially prominent in myelin, a membrane sheath that surrounds and insulates the axons of some neurons, speeding up action potential. The remaining spangle lipids, known as glycospangolipids, have sugars as their polar head group and can be further classified into three subclasses. Cerebral sites have a single sugar as its head group. Neural membranes usually have galactose as the sugar, whereas non-neural membranes usually have glucose as the sugar. Global sites are glycospangolipids with two or more sugars, usually glucose, galactose, or N-acetylgalactosamine. Cerebral sites and global sites are sometimes called neutral glycolipids, as they have no charge at physiological pH. The third type of glycospangolipids are gangliosides, which have oligosaccharides as their polar head groups and one or more residues of negatively charged N-acetylneuraminic acid, also known as sialic acid, at the terminus. Gangliosides with one sialic acid are in the GM series. M stands for mono. Those with two are in the GD series. D stands for di, and so on. Glycospingolipids are found in the outer membrane and function in biological recognition. They play a role in defining the human blood groups and determining the type of blood individuals can safely receive in blood transfusions. Phospholipases hydrolyze specific bonds in glycerol phospholipids. Phospholipases A1 and A2 hydrolyze the ester bonds of carbon-1 and carbon-2 of glycerol phospholipid respectively, releasing free fatty acids. Phospholipase C hydrolyzes the phosphoryl head group from the glycerol backbone, whereas phospholipase D hydrolyzes just the head group from the phosphoglycerol backbone. When phospholipase A2 cleaves membrane phospholipids, it releases arachidonic acid, which is a precursor to eicosanoids, a class of lipids that will be talked about in a moment. In the signal transduction pathway involving protein kinase C, phospholipase C is the primary effector that cleaves membrane phosphatidyl 4 5 phosphate into inositol triphosphate, abbreviated as IP3 and diacylglycerol. IP3 then increases cytosolic concentration of calcium cations, which in turn activate protein kinase C along with diacylglycerol. Icosinoids are fatty acid derivatives that function in biosignaling on nearby cells. The majority of eicosanoids are synthesized from arachidonic acid produced from the hydrolysis of membrane phospholipid by phospholipase A2. There are three main classes of eicosanoids, prostaglandins, thromboxanes, and leukotrienes. There are four main types of prostaglandins. Prostaglandin I2 or PGI2, also known as prostacycline, function in vasodilation and inhibition of platelet aggregation. Prostaglandin D2 or PGD2 is the major prostaglandin produced by mast cells that function in allergic response. Prostaglandin E2 or PGE2 has a wide range of effects depending on the type of receptor that it binds to. It is a prominent eicosanoid that contributes to inflammation as well as regulation of smooth muscle contraction and gastric acid production. Prostaglandin F2-alpha is activated by oxytocin and functions in inducing uterus contraction during labor. On the other hand, thromboxin A2 or TXA2 function in facial constriction and the activation of platelet aggregation, which are the exact opposite of prostacycline. Leukotriene D4 or LTD4 triggers contraction in the smooth muscles lining bronchioles. The overproduction of LTD4 contributes to asthma. Leukotrienes also play a role in immunity and allergic responses. Prostaglandins and thromboxanes are synthesized by cyclooxygenase, abbreviated as COX, whereas leukotriene is synthesized by lipooxygenase. Non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, abbreviated as NSAIDs, such as aspirin and ibuprofen, act by inhibiting cyclooxygenase, thereby blocking the production of pro-inflammatory prostaglandins and thromboxanes. Arachidonic acid, abbreviated as AA, is a precursor to the two series of prostaglandins and thromboxanes and the four series of leukotrienes. Some isoprenoids are also synthesized by dihomo gamma linolenic acid, abbreviated as DGLA, which is the precursor to the one series of prostaglandins and thromboxanes and the three series of leukotrienes. EPA is a precursor to the three series of prostaglandins and thromboxanes and the five series of leukotrienes. More details about eicosanoid biosynthesis have been covered in a previous video. Isoprenoids, also known as terpenoids, are a diverse class of lipids derived from activated 5-carbon isoprene, known as delta-3 isopentanoid pyrophosphate, abbreviated as IPP. A major class of isoprenoids are steroids, which consists of four fused rings. Cholesterol is an important steroid that functions in maintaining membrane fluidity, while also serves as a precursor to diverse biological molecules, such as bioacids, which function in 
emulsifying dietary fats, as well as all the steroid hormones, including glucocorticoids, such as cortisol that respond to short-term stress, mineral corticoids such as aldosterone that regulate blood pressure, and sex hormones, testosterone and estradiol. Prednisone and prednisolone are steroid drugs with potent anti-inflammatory activities through inhibition of arachidonic acid release by phospholipase A2, inhibiting the synthesis of all three types of eicosanoids. The plant growth hormone brosinosteroid is also derived from cholesterol, as well as vitamin D3, also known as cholecalciferol, which is converted to the active form calcitriol in the liver and kidney and function in regulating calcium uptake in the intestine. Other fat-soluble vitamins are also derived from active isoprene. Vitamin A or retinol functions as a visual pigment of the vertebrae eye. Vitamin E or tocopherols function as antioxidant. Vitamin K functions in coagulation by activating prothrombin, which in turn converts the soluble fibrinogen to the insoluble fibrin that forms blood clot. Besides personal steroids, several other plant hormones are also isoprenoids, including cytokinin, which promotes cell division, gibberellins, which promote plant development, obsessic acid, which promotes dormancy and enhances drought tolerance, and strigolactones, which promotes mycorrhizae association. Both vitamin A and strigolactones can be synthesized from beta-carotene, an orange pigment that belongs to the carotenoid family. Other types of carotenoids include the red pigments lycopene and canthacentine, the yellow pigments zeaxanthin. Birds capture red and yellow feather from eating plants containing lycopene and zeaxanthin. Several scented volatile compounds are also isoprenoids, including limonene from limes and menthol from peppermint. Other important isoprenoids include the synthetic anticoagulant warfarin sold under the brand name Coumadin, the sugar carrier dolichol which facilitates glycoprotein and glycolipid biosynthesis, and electron carriers in the electron transport chains, including ubiquinone that participate in mitochondrial oxidative phosphorylation and plasoquinone and chloroplast photophosphorylation. The last major class of lipids are polyketides, which are secondary metabolites, compounds that are not central to an organism's metabolism, but serve some subsidiary functions that gives their producers an advantage in some ecological niche. Examples of polyketides include antibiotics erythromycin, antifungals enfotericin B, and inhibitors of cholesterol synthesis lovastatin.